So we already have examples for each of the cases. I hope that you can follow the steps that we are doing in answering those problems. Now, let us employ now the integrating factor determined by inspection. So under this, we have seven formulas. So what are the seven formulas? So for number one, the derivative of xy is equal to x dy plus y dx. Number two, the derivative of x over y is equal to the negative x dy minus y dx over y squared. And the derivative of y over x is equal to x dy minus y dx over x squared. The derivative of arctangent y over x is equal to x dy minus y dx all over x squared plus y squared. Number 5, the derivative of 1 half long of x plus y over x minus y is equal to x dy minus y dx over x squared minus y squared. Number 6, the derivative of y squared over x is equal to 2xy dy minus y squared dx over x squared. Number 7, the derivative of x squared over y is equal to 2xy dx minus x squared dy over y squared. Okay? Now let's have example to these seven integrating factors determined by inspection. Let's have number four, problem number four. Under this, we have to find the complete solution of y dx, y dx plus x plus y squared dy is equal to zero. All right? Our aim here is to manipulate this equation to fit any of the seven formulas that we have. Okay? So what we're going to do here is to manipulate this equation for us to be able to have this, okay, fitted on the seven equations or seven formulas that I bred. So that's the first thing that we have to do. So we have y, dx, distributing dy, Inside the parenthesis, we have x dy plus y square dy is equal to zero. But under integrating factors determined by inspection, x dy plus y dx falls under formula number one. We can transform this now to the derivative of xy okay this is the same as the derivative of xy plus y square dy is equal to zero and to get the solution all we have to do is to integrate this integrating the derivative of xy will give us xy plus y squared dy is y cubed over 3 and equate that to c. And this will be your solution. Simple. That is the simplest problem that we have under integrating factor determined by inspection. Let's have example number 5. Baka naman kasi masyado kayo nadalian. So, punta tayo sa example number 5. So, for example number 5, find the solution of y times 2xy plus 1 dx minus x dy is equal to 0. Again, as what we have done in example number 4, we are to manipulate this to fit any of the seven formulas that we have in integrating factor determined by inspection. 
So distributing this inside the parenthesis, we have 2xy squared plus y dx minus x dy is equal to 0. Then again, we have 2xy squared dx plus y dx minus x dy is equal to 0. Dividing everything by y squared, we have 2x dx plus y dx minus x dy all over y squared is equal to 0. So, this falls under what formula? Tingnan natin, yung pito. So, the seven formulas, we have y dx minus x dy. So, y dx minus x dy over y squared. Mm -hmm. x dy, formula number two, x dy minus y dx over y squared. Okay? So, we have two x dx for us to be able to have positive x dy multiply this with negative make this negative so negative times negative will give us x dy positive minus y dx over y square is equal to 0. But what is this equal to? This falls under uh, integrating factor determined by inspection formula number 2. So we have 2x dx minus the derivative of x over y is equal to 0. To get the solution, we have to integrate 2x dx minus integrate the derivative of x over y is equal to 0. So we have 2x squared over 2 minus x over y is equal to c. Or we have x squared minus x over y is equal to c. Let's see. Example number 5. Solution should be x square okay so ang ginawa sinimplify lalo so we have x square y minus x is equal to c y okay this answers example number 5 Okay, now let's have example number six. What is number six? Okay. Nawawala na naman ako sa camera. Find the complete solution, number six, of x square y plus y cube minus y dx plus x cube plus x y square plus x dy is equal to zero. 
Again, manipulate this equation. So we have, how do we, how do we manipulate this? Mm -hmm. We have x square y plus y cube dx minus y dx plus x cube plus x y square dy plus x dy is equal to zero. Okay. So factoring y here, we have y times x square plus y square dx plus factoring x here x times x square plus y square dy plus x dy minus y dx is equal to zero dividing everything by x square y square we have y dx plus x dy plus x dy minus y dx all over x square plus y square is equal to zero if we're going to combine these two this will give us the first equation or the first formula how about the second term x dy minus y dx all over x square plus y square will give us formula number four that is the derivative of arctangent y over x so this is formula number one d x y plus formula number four the derivative of arc tangent arc tangent y over x is equal to zero okay integrating this we have x y plus arc tangent y over x is equal to c so that answers problem number six so we have x y plus arc tangent y over x is equal to c so this is the solution for example number six now let's have example number seven so find the complete solution of y dx of y dx plus x cube minus x y square minus y dy number seven x cube minus x y square minus y dx and this is x dy x dy ala na malabo na mata is equal to zero again manipulating this equation we have x dy plus x cube minus x y square d x minus y d x is equal to zero so we have x times x square minus y square dx plus x dy minus y dx is equal to zero dividing everything by x square minus y square we have x dx plus 
x dy minus y dx all over x square minus y square is equal to zero. So what is the formula for this? So we have x dy minus y dx all over x square y square falls under formula number five. So what will be the solution to this? So we have the integral of x dx plus the integral of the derivative of formula number 5 1 half ln of x plus y over x minus y is equal to 0. So we have x squared over 2 plus 1 half ln of x plus y over x minus y is equal to c. So this is the solution for example number 7. Let's see. So we have 1 half. Okay. That'll do. That is formula, uh, example number 7. So all you have to do now is to answer the supplement supplementary problems at the end of the module. That ends chapter number 5.